How's it going all my one tricks and hard stokes? It's your coach Slayer Key here. Recently I had a session with a platinum chamber and they wanted the rundown on how to op masterfully every single thing, every tip they could get for opping. And I thought it would make a nice little video for you guys. So we're gonna run through some in-game examples. I'm gonna have them run a death match and then I'm gonna show you some of my own personal clips and then a final recap at the end. This is a really informative video, so it's going to be a bit longer. I'll give you some nice music to listen to. Feel free to grab some snackies, grab a notepad, and enjoy the video. I, I, doesn't doesn't it feel safer though to like hold the um, either flank or hold the uh, like nope. up here? Nope. Uh, okay, okay. What you can you have the right idea, but always just assume that a man's going to get smoked off on the retake. So mm -hmm. unless you have something like the TP you just had. Where you like get smoked off and then you could come out here. Watch me. Or you could mm -hmm. come out here and take them take a shot of them coming out heaven. You wanna be on site. Cause you th the worst thing's gonna happen on your attack is you're just gonna get smoked off and then you won't have angles. And yeah, if you don't you have, have angles and you don't have TP, you're fucked. Bro. So you just wanna be somewhere on site with this. You can even do some cheeky stuff where you like um, try to get on top of Jin. Or you try to get up on top of heaven here and leave a TP like down here if you have the space. Right, this is another way you can use the up. Fairly safe and you can get up even safer. Don't you feel like some angles are really scary because there's multiple ways for people can approach? Like for example, I find this angle really scary to up a main. It's because there's mo they can pick you either here or here. Do you have TP up you. or no TP up? Um, well... TP or not TP, you're, you, they both can be really scary because like doing this kind of like switch is kind of hard. Mm -hmm. Like, hundred percent. You, you don't know which angle they're gonna peek, so there's like same same situation would be here though. It was, it's just gambling, right? In this situation, you just gamble your odds. <laughs> they're gonna pick here or here. Yep. And you're just trying to find which one do you think is more likely people are gonna peek the left or the right one. I in this one, 100%. Yep, perfect. So, um, let's just say you're holding it. Go back up there. So let's say you're holding right, and I come from left. What are you going to do? So exactly shot. that, right? Your instinct's, your instinct's perfect. You just go for a flick shot and you get out. And this yeah. is the same exact thing here. You come up here, you just flick up and get out. As long as, as long as you're expecting both ones, you're fine. Even if you're solo here, like, I've seen Jets do the same exact thing. Sometimes they just hold the top one if they notice you've been doing it a lot. Mm -hmm. But, um... But you can always hold both and just go for a shot on the top one. If you're taking risks, you're taking it with your TP or trips, or you're picking the angle in some way that gives you the best advantage you can get. That's kind of all we're doing. We're trying to get the most advantage of these situations. Okay? Yeah. So defense opting, you pretty much have figured out. But yeah. um, right now what I'm seeing a lot of is like we put our TP here and we PK main. But how yeah. often have you tried playing further back with the TP? Um, I've tried not long. Depends on their composition. If they're if they know that I'm peeking there, uh, they use flashes. It's really hard to do that. I I usually play top mid here. See if I can get. Uh, they don't expect me here. Playing a little bit deeper angle. I also love on ascent. I love uh, playing mid. It's my go-to, especially on defense. My playbook on ascent mm -hmm. is playing mid most of the time. Because mm -hmm. people people usually like don't smoke as much unless they do the splits and giving me this info at the start is really nice whether there's one here or one here it's a lot of info and if they do decide to attack me i kind of played this passive angle this passive was the sub rosa passive angle okay or i play behind over here like this with this angle is really nice as well it's good um I should say, so a good opper should not have, should never have one spot the op. Why is that? Um, it should be a, f uh, most of the time it should be a floating. It's kind of, because it's really, when, when people, the enemies know where the op is, they, it becomes kind of like a util dump. In my opinion, they util dump you. 
and mm. it makes it really and they kind of force you into a retake if they know where you are most of the time they can avoid you or they can like make it really hard for you to get that ability to hold the line it's true but why would you never want to play in one spot it's not just because you tell them there's like you're kind of getting it with the idea that they're going to utilize them, but why is playing in one spot as an opera bad? Mm, I, I must because they can. Well, I feel like they can avoid you if they know that you're playing the same spot over and over. They will yes. just like you get no action and you will just play retake. Exactly. Because what do you become when you play one spot over and over? Predictable. Perfect. So once you become predictable, the enemy can easily counter your op. So the best oppers, you watch any op jet on ascent, any opper on ascent, I should say, they are constantly switching where they play with a spot. Before we continue, let me remind you about the free resources available in our Discord, as well as our shop that includes agent cheat sheets, a comprehensive improvement guide, as well as your own custom warm up training routine, and a deathmatch analysis. If this interests you, visit slayerkey.com slash support. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Obviously peak and what they hold. Yeah. That's how you have impact on, on defense up. That's like the basis of it. And the idea that like when I shoot this up, it sends in an alarm to the entire team. So let's say you're doing your B main hold here. You get one or you don't get one. You're immediately either repositioning like all the way to A mm -hmm. and just assuming they're going to rotate. Or if you feel like they're still hitting, you reposition somewhere like backside or something where you have another angle you can just hold and wait for. Oh, that's breach. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's slice this a little bit. Mm. Oh. Yep, good job. How much you can do yet? Um, may hold them. Nice, yeah. good. Okay, here, slice. There's somebody coming. No. Nope. Oh. Good. All you um, had to do was click. Yeah. Not there. Sure. Let's see, let's break this one up. There you go. Beautiful. You sliced that perfectly. That that was like your pure instinct, because I can tell that was just pure instinct that you knew that Astro was there. So you're getting a lot more comfortable with it, which is good. Yeah. It, it's kind of like it's it reminds me of like when I learned how to pre aim with a Vandal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah, there's somebody there. Hold. Yep, nice. That's... Good. Uh, beat his shot. No! I'm just as fast <laughs> as him. No, 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 no. Impossible. That breach is the worst player in the world. <laughs> 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 you had the right idea, though. Can we kill this guy? Go. No, GG. Popping mm -hmm. 28 against the Vandal players. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck they all crutch. And they all crutch too. <laughs> let's, let's, let's make it a goal to win a death match with an off. <laughs> yeah, For, that would piss so many people. I've never seen that done before. In all my time <laughs> playing this game, I've never seen someone win with an off. <laughs> Now let me show you some clips. Um, I want to show you op and attack and kind of recap what we talked about. So um, the very first thing we talked about an attack was you peek where you think people like to peek. Yeah. And people like to peek B main sometimes. You like to aggro B main. This bitch wanna shoot? You wanna shoot? Let's shoot. My ult's ready. Enemy kill. I got two B. Um, this is a side thing, but like usually when you kill two people on B, yeah. Um, notice how I use dash here because it's like the biggest risk. And then now that I clear a CT, it just assumed mid. Um, oh. oh, I'm trying, but my team is 
Let me get him, let me get him! <laughs> was this uh, ranked? Yeah, this was ranked. This was like high ascendant uh, lobbies. Damn, my coach is cracked. Yes, sir. <laughs> I wasn't even... Okay, that was just crazy. So, you notice how the round... The most important thing is how the round started off and then how I adapted to how the round started. So you get the early picks, you get to, you take the space, but uh, I want you to note during this situation, once I kill these two and I go off site, I'm finding that next threat. You remember we talked about that? Um, mm -hmm. Where is the next guy going to be? So when I'm coming out CT, notice, uh, I look through here, I check towards mid, I don't see any mid, I'm expecting someone CT. Because I expect someone CT, when I peek, my crosshair is basically on him, and then... It, it's literally the same exact thing next round. So I'm not going B this round. Or I'm not going B window because I just went there. And I just go mid doors. Because sometimes people like to peek mid doors. So I just hold it at the start. Yeah, no. I don't notice anyone peeking mid doors. So it's okay to push this space now. <laughs> Get the kill. Try to catch off guard the second. Holy shit, that's a nice shot right there. The nice. <laughs> Oh, I think this was really bad. Yeah, this was uh, really bad. That's alright. Oh. I, I, ga I gambled on a risk and it didn't work. Hey, but at least at least I gambled on the risk. Fuck it. No. Coach, now that I'm watching you play, um, do you have a playbook for this for the way you play, or is no only? <laughs> or is that just you just just do you just adapt the way you just go crazy? Yeah. I don't play Jet on Breeze. I literally, oh. you look at my tracker, I have very little hours on, on Jet in general, but I just know how her abilities work and how people have success playing her. Ah, uh, I see, see, see. Yes. You go mid. Like, literally, I can tell you my thoughts right now that I'm telling you right now is exactly my thoughts that I'm doing in game. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to follow the general rules of what you should do. Like, I know people like to peek mid doors, so I'm going mid doors. Uh, it's really simple after you put it that way. Mm -mm. Go back. Uh, I wish I had defense for you, man. What the heck? I'm so surprised none of these are defense. Cooked. I knew it was somewhere. Okay. So early round. Um, these guys like to push tiles is actually why I did this because they like to push tiles, but in general people like to push tiles on this map. So I'm just holding it. No other reason here. I usually wait like a decent amount of time. I don't have any set time. Okay. I'm just like, okay, they're not peeking here. So I'm just a little clear in mid. Nothing there and I just go back. This is just me playing with timings. The raised boom botted here, so I heard someone or I knew she was behind this somewhere. I got here. And then there turned out to be more. And I have dash up, so I don't care about anything here. You remember we talked about how the, the ops like a shotgun? I think this was a good example. Yeah. <laughs> Were you expecting her there? Yeah. Because um, right here she was spotted and she killed her teammate. So I knew there was a timing that existed, which is why I didn't like just run into this area. Which is why you see me slow down here. Makes sense, yeah, that's smart. No. Um, okay, let me show. So sometimes retake with op is, is bad, so let me show you this. We were trying to figure out where they are, which is why I'm I'm slow here. And we didn't know where deadlock was, but then we found it there. But I try to get a timing and I just hold, see if she peeks. Miss the shot. Hold, see if she peeks. Try to smoke it off to kind of create pressure on her. All the knives. Nice. And then there's just a nice 1v1. Um, two minutes. Nice. Good job, Jet. Thank you. Let me see if I have one more out for you. Because I think this game was really good. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Cooked. This this was actually, this is actually such a good example for you. Same exact thing, right? Hold tiles. Um, teammate called a fast hit. They walled themselves off here. And they walled themselves off here. So we went elbow. You have dash. Yes. You're with me. We hold her, we just wait. 
Dash goes out. We just play back. I just hold the line. I just hold the line. This is a really good example of like, you can give up space as an opter, but you don't have to give it up. You know what I mean? Like this, this is going to be really hard to hold as an op. So we just hold the edge of the smoke. And then once these fade, we just peek back out. Yeah, you, you, you peek really assiduously. Okay, this might be the, this might be a good last one. Um, wait, let me double check. We didn't see this. No, we haven't seen this one. Same thing. You can you can find my jet. You literally know my jet play style now. I just hold one spot. See if someone comes. No one comes tiles. I just leave. I'm like they're probably not here right now. If I looked on the mini map, I'm gonna try to read myself here. I'm look at the mini map. There's nothing A, so I'm probably gonna peek in the mid, and then I'm gonna go A. Um, Interesting. Wouldn't you say it's a little bit predictable though to hold tiles again for like the third time? I th I would say yes. I don't think these rounds are like back to back. Oh, okay, um, I think sometimes I went like uh, A main. Sometimes I went B. But also, here's one thing. How many times have they actually come tiles? Because I might be wrong about this. How many times have they come tiles and seen me opt this? Oh, that's true. They haven't. They haven't seen you opt mid, but not tiles. Yeah, exactly. We got orb on a, that's a really good question, though. Uh, the gecko just called the orb day here. I'm playing back on mid. And I got a little scared of holding mid, so I just played back on this angle. And I thought it was really risky to like scale up even though I wanted to, to regain mid control. But then my teammate died. So again, so I'm slow here because they could be mid. And then they smoke top mid. And I like, I want to op shotgun this, but I was like, I don't really like this. So I called my harbor back right there. So I could rotate A. Yeah. And then here, just take it piece by piece. This is really important with the op, right? All these threats exist, so they could have been here. They could be on the common angle, and then also notice I checked deep on the off angle. So now I claim this space, and now I go to the most likely threat. And I get the timing. It's a bit lucky. Ignore you're there. Yep. Nice. Nice. I shot. Um, he called someone elbow, which is why you see me jump here. In case they were holding. But th someone's planting and then Breach just killed their teammate. So I don't have to worry about elbow anymore. Holding the edge of the smoke. Literally, it's, it's all repeatable. It's really all repeatable. Deal to my teammate, but I don't give a fuck. Because I'm not taking that extra risk. I know they're both right side, so I just slowly ease up. This jet peeks me because she's dumb. Nice, good job. Good job dude. It's jet all about how you peek it. Yeah. <laughs> jet off's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> jet off is really nice. So yeah, there's like how I approach the op. You don't have to approach it the same way, but that's why I found works best for me and works best in these situations. Um so first thing we covered was angle too tight this person can just swing past you sometimes sometimes you're gonna hold wider but you never want to hold too deep more than necessary the second thing we covered was it's a lot of crosshair placement and when you know someone's holding you you might want to try swinging out instead or jumping out instead and then the next thing we covered is if you want to clear space with an op you can use abilities to clear you can use tp to minimize risk so in case you're in trouble, you can TP out, or you can also just peek the angle differently. Talked about the no scope ability and just being mindful of like the biggest threats and then quickly clearing where you think other people are. Okay, and then the last thing we covered um, was that you can pretty much peek anywhere at the op. Just make sure you're using something and then you're consider the on angle and then the off angle here. And then if you want to entry site, Try to have a TP if you're going through smoke and just gamble in one area. If you gamble wrong, just TP out. And don't be afraid to use the TP on site. Avoid playing back here because you'll get smoked off 90% of the times. If they don't have a smoker, you can do it. That's the one thing you can consider. Um, 
but you would want to play somewhere more on site where you can just hold an angle or you can be hiding and then come out after and get the kill. Um, what's the last thing we covered? Um, was the playing on a little bit playing a bit more like oh, you said to be not predictable, try to be more. Oh, right. um, so, so on defense, always loading. peeking at different angles, basically. And yeah. once you shoot your shot, consider yourself an alarm clock that just goes off and everyone knows where you're located. So you want to go to another spot and try to catch someone off guard. Because people are very lazy and ranked, even higher mortals just peek without utility if they don't expect you there. And when they do expect you, they'll use something. But when they don't expect you, they won't a lot of times. And so as long as you get there early, you'll have them. You'll have them in your hands, they're yours. Okay.